In this video, I'm showing you how to add and use auto lyrics in CapCut. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. The first thing you need to do is either go and create a new project in CapCut or go and open an existing one of which you want to go and add the lyrics to. In this case, I've already got a project ready with some clips which I want to go and add the auto lyrics to and the song. So here are the clips, so just as you can see, it's literally 10 seconds. So let's get right into this. So the first thing you need to do is go and add the song or the music. So go and tap on audio um, in the bottom, just like so. Make sure you haven't selected any clips. Then you've got four options here and you want to go and tap on sounds, just like so. Now you need to go and find a sound which you want to go and use. Of course, it sort of ideally needs to have lyrics. So you could go and use a sound from TikTok, but in this case, I'm gonna go and check out the recommended one. And I'm gonna go and use this one about you. I know it's got a few lyrics in, which is why I want to ideally go and use it. And then I'm gonna go and tap on this plus button just here, just like so. You can go and preview it though before you go and use it if you'd like by pressing on uh, the song cover. Now, in this example, I actually want to go, I want the song, the middle of the song to be at the start of the video, if that makes sense. So I want this piece of the song at the start of the video. So I'm gonna click on the song just here, so it's highlighted, and then I can go make a split, and then I can go and delete the start of it. So I click on that, and then I'm gonna press on delete, just like so. Now, what I'm gonna go and do is hold my finger on this piece of the song and just drag it to the start, just like so, as you can see. Now, the next thing you want to do is make sure uh, you end the music track when the video ends. So in this case, I want the, the music to end here. Otherwise, it's gonna go and keep the music playing um, and the lyrics being created all throughout here, which is just blackness, and we just want it to end when the video ends. So tap on the song once again and press split, and then go and click on the piece you want to go and delete, which is of course this piece here when the video's ended, and press delete just like so. So the song now starts at the start and ends at the end of the video. So the next thing you want to do is go and press on this back button in the bottom left, just like so. And you need to go and press on text, and once you've pressed on text, you then need to go and press on auto lyrics. There is auto captions, but you want auto lyrics which is a bit further along uh, because with auto lyrics, that is for music. So go and press on auto lyrics just like so. And as you can see, we've got three different options here for the sound source. In this case, because I added the song as an audio track, I'd use audio. Um, but if you say recorded a song and you then want to go and um, have the lyrics appearing, use original sound, then go and press on start once you selected one, just like so. And as you can see, it's now creating the lyrics. It's gonna use the internet to do this, so hopefully you've got a stable internet connection. And the lyrics have now been added. So as you can see, they're very basic, but they do appear. But I'm gonna show you how to make these look really, really good. So all you want to do is go and tap on one of them, just like so. And then in the bottom left, you've got this option here for batch edit. So go and tap on batch edit, just like so. And as you can see, there are four lyrics in this case, but if you've got a whole song, there may be, you know, 10 or 20. So you want to go and select them all at once so we can make edits to them all. So press select and then select all again. And then you can go and press on edit in the bottom right with the two A's. So now what you want to do is go and choose a font. You probably want to choose a font which represents the song. I know this song is quite sort of slow, so I'm going to scroll down a bit until I see a good one. I think New York's going to work really well for this. So I'll press on New York, just like so. And then what you want to do is come to these row of options here and you want to go and click on the color palette so we can go and change the color. I think I'm going to keep this white, but what you can do in this section is go and add things like um, stroke, canvas, shadow, spacing. I'm going to go and add a shadow, so tap on shadow, just like so. And then I want a black shadow, so I'll tap on that, just like so. And you can go and change the opacity and the amount of blur as well. So that's going to be up to you. You can scroll down, as you can see, and the distance as well. I'm not going to mess around with it. I'm just going to keep it simple. Then you've also got this another effect button to the right of the color palette button. As you could see, you can go and choose all these awesome effects. And then to the right of this um, effect page, you've then gone and got the animation. So you can have fade in, pop up, um, and there are so many to choose from, to be honest. I think I'm gonna have a uh, pop up just like so. And then for the out, I'm gonna go and choose a fade out just like so. So once you're then happy with the effects you've used, you can also go and click on the speech bubble icon and you can go and choose these, but I think they look a bit tacky personally, but that's up to you. And then what you want to do is go and change the size of the text as it's really small at the moment. So to do that, you just need to use your fingers and you can go and pinch on it. So I'm gonna go and pinch it out just like so. But now what's important is if you make it too big, some of the text may be off the screen. If I scroll along, as you can see, this next bit of text is now off the screen. So you want to make it a little bit smaller, uh, just like so, so it all fits in just like that. And that's perfect. So once you're happy with it, you can then go and press on the tick mark, just like so. You can go and make further changes as well. This isn't like permanent. And then you can go and press on the tick again, and now we'll go and watch it and see how it looks. So I'll play it. As you can see, it's then popping up and fading out. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, and yeah, that's literally it, guys. 
And then once you're ready to go and save it, all you need to do is go and press on the save button in the top right. But of course, there may be further changes you want to make, etc. So yeah, if you guys found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.